All right, so to be truthful, the last time I filmed was a few days ago, and I don't know where all I've been since then, <laughs> but I promised to show you the haul of what I've been picking up along the way, and so some of this may have been in the video footage, some of it may not have been, but I'm just going to show you what treasures I found. Um, I'm going to start with this bag right here. I went to a garage sale and the lady gave me this nice bag to put my stuff in. I was like, okay, I'll take it. Nice little shopping bag. Uh, everything that she was selling was pretty much a dollar. So I picked up uh, a Ralph Lauren yellow um, gingham uh, large shirt, very wrinkly, so I need to press it before I list it, um, but I figure I can at least make a dollar off of a Ralph Lauren shirt, right? And then I found a purple Magellan like sportswear, like a fishing shirt for men, Magellan, and it's a lavender, and it's a size large, so um, again, I know it's a good brand and for a buck, I figure I can probably make a profit off of that. Let's see here. I also saw this hanging up and I thought it was really, really pretty. It's kind of, um, like a, like a swing dress or a long tunic blouse. I don't, I don't really know. I'm gonna have to look up some information on it, but the brand is Free People and I don't know a lot about brands. I'll be honest with you. I'm learning, I'm learning some things. Um, I've never really cared a whole lot about wearing name brand stuff. I just wear what I like. I wear what I think looks good. Um, but I'm starting to be more conscientious of brands because other people do pay attention to that. And my understanding is that free people is pretty high end clothing. And I have looked up um, some comps on eBay. I haven't found this exact, um, piece, but they're selling for quite a bit. Now, what do I mean by looking up comps on eBay? Okay. I'm going to show you what I mean by this, because this has been really helpful to me as a reseller to know if I'm spending my money wisely or not, if I'm spending my money on things that can make a profit. Okay. So the first thing is I have the eBay app. So I'm going to click on that. And, um, when you go to the home screen, um, it allows you have sold items. I'm so excited, but down here at the bottom, it allows you to search. So I'm going to hit search and I'm going to just type in free people, women's clothing. Uh, maybe I should put free people, uh, dress dress. I'll put it, I'll call it a dress. Okay. So then it pulls up all of the listings that are currently listed for free people dresses. Now you can see they've got something listed here for $43, $21, $24. Okay. So a lot more than $1. All right. Now, but the thing with eBay is that anybody can price anything at any price they want. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell. So what you want to do is down here to see this little blue bar. There's a word. Oop, where to go? Cancel. Ah. Okay. Down here, it says filter. Does it say sort and filter? Okay. So I'm going to hit filter. Okay. So it brings up all of these options and down here is a little arrow that says show more. And I'm going to go down, scroll down a little bit to where it says sold items. And I'm going to click on that. Sold items. So this means people have bought this. They have sold this. Now look down at that bottom. 13,000 things have been sold. Uh, free people clothing. So apparently people are buying this. Okay. So free people dresses. Now, if it has a line through it, it means somebody accepted a better offer. So it didn't, that first one didn't sell exactly for $48. Um, it sold for a little bit less than that. Cause you can, you can kind of make offers with people, but there's one that sold for 22. There's one that sold for 30. 
there's one that sold for uh, 45. Now that one's new with tags. So you can also look if it's a brand new item or if it's a pre-owned item. Um, but all that to say, free people clothing sells. And so for a dollar, I can sell it. Now, not all dollar clothing would probably sell. Like if it's something you could easily run to the nearest Walmart and pick up for four bucks, you're not, you're not probably going to buy that off of eBay. So I do try to look for higher end brands that are more desirable and that people can get a bargain if they buy it from me, because I'm not going to set the price super high. Not in this economy. Okay. So that's just kind of how I search for things on eBay to make sure that I'm buying things that are quality and that those are things that people may actually want. Okay, what else did I get from the garage sale? Oh, I got this. And I may keep it. I don't know. Um, somebody made this. It's a quilted, it's a quilted bag. And I just love it. Look, it's got glasses on it. It just looks it just kind of looks like a a vintage um teachery bag. It's got a little a little slot pocket here. A little pocket here. Now, how do I know that somebody made this and they didn't buy it? Well, here's something kind of funny. When you look down inside this pocket, I don't know if you can see it right here. Where is it? Hold on. Somebody left a needle, a sewing needle in it. So this is handmade, and again, I paid a dollar for it. So this may be something I hold on to. I just love the inside. It's got typewriters on that side, and then different fabrics on this side. I I don't know. I may have to hang on to this for a little while, but for a dollar, thank you. I will take it. Okay, so that was my garage sale find. Uh, I think I mentioned earlier, it's getting so hot outside in Texas, and so the garage sales are kind of hit or miss right now. Really, honestly, the fall, I have found, is a better time to consistently hit the garage sales. Now, I do know that there's a few church sales coming up, so they'll be inside. <laughs> uh, there's one church that has one every July 4th weekend, um, and I've actually been to that sale multiple years in a row. And so, we'll go to that one together, but I don't know how many garage sales I'm gonna be hitting this summer because it's hot outside. We've hit triple digits, I think, the last five days in a row. Um, and that's not like, it feels like this outside. It's like, no, it actually is that hot. So we just, we really appreciate our air conditioners here in Texas. Okay, let me move on to another pile. Okay, this pile is extremely exciting to me because this is from the store where I said everything was 49 cents on Tuesdays and Fridays, but actually it's 45 cents. And so... What a deal, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Again, I'm going in, I'm looking at brands and I do look at sizes too. Um, I have found that larger sizes um, sell a lot quicker and maybe aren't as much in abundance on eBay. I don't know, maybe that's just what I have discovered. But regardless, if I find a name brand something, I'm probably gonna pick it up for 45 cents. If it's in really, really good quality, good shape. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is I found this Under Armour cap, new with tags, never been worn. It has the sticker on the back. It was $25 originally. So for 45 cents, I think, I think yes, I think that's a steal. All right, the next thing I found is a Levi's brand, size large, again, a great size. Um, button-up shirt it has a little Levi's symbol here 45 cents I do believe I'll make a profit on that pineapple bag <laughs> I saw that and was like I must have that um so again this may stay in my stash of shopping bags because it just makes me happy it's got pineapples on it um I found a couple of items I think even for myself I love polka dots. So these are some little sleep shorts. I think I'm gonna keep those. Um, and then if I get tired of them, I can sell them, right? So that's fine. Um, here's a cute little blouse. 
What was the brand on this? Esome. I don't know. Um, but it's a really cute little swaggy, swaggy blouse and um, a really pretty color and an excellent shape. Like, no piling those little, those little balls that, you know, that happen when you wear it too much. So it was in a really, really good shape. And I really like that color. Okay, y'all are gonna laugh at this, but it's a chef's jacket. But like, if you have a job where you have to wear one of these, I can't imagine that these are super cheap. So again, I took a risk, but for 45 cents, I think I think my my risk will be validated. Again, it, it doesn't really show signs of super wear, so why not? Okay, the next thing I found for 45 cents is this cute little dress. Um, I love anything that has embroidery on it, so I, I was drawn to this immediately. And if it doesn't sell, I might be tempted to keep it. Um, but the brand is called Flying Tomato. I've never, never in my life heard of Flying Tomato brand. But again, just like I showed you with the Free People um, shirt, I looked it up and the dresses are selling between $30 and $40. Pre-owned dresses. So again, for $0.45, cents, why not? Okay, what else we got? What else we got? A pair of cute little capris. These are Eddie Bauer, which I know for a fact is a good brand, um, an expensive brand. I know this because they have their own store <laughs> and I've been in that store in real life and been like, holy moly, I can't afford anything in here. So Eddie Bauer. All right. These were just awesome to me. There's nothing wrong with them. They're not stained. They're Jamaica Bay, Discover Paradise size 12, super cute, real lightweight. Somebody going to Hawaii might want to wear those. So I will put them up on eBay so they can get them at a cheap price. Um, these are, again, some cute little capris. Um, these are Tommy Hilfiger, also a good brand, 45 cents. Uh, going along with the Hawaiian theme, found a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> these are fun. Craft and Barrow, not a super great band, brand, but if you're looking for a Hawaiian shirt, come and see me. Uh, this was unusual. Um, vests. Uh, I buy a lot of vests for the theater department because we have to wear a lot of vests for costuming and stuff. But um, I just really like this one because it's got camo on the back. And I thought that was kind of interesting and I have not looked this one up. Red Camel is the brand. So um, I do like doing the, some of the research and finding out what's good and what's not. So uh, that's kind of part of the fun for me. This is a another little vest. This is from um, Cold Water Creek. Nice ladies brand. Has this neat little buckle in the back. I'm kind of kind of have tempted to keep this one for myself. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like on me. Um, Dickies. Work shirt. It looks like it has never been worn. And it's a size large. So again, great size. 45 cents. A vintage Wrangler pearl snap button shirt. I can never pass these up. I just love them so much. Again, size large, in great shape, 45 cents. And then another Hawaiian shirt. Uh, what brand is this one? Paper, denim, and cloth. Never heard of it. Never heard of it in my whole life. So I'm gonna have to look that one up. So all in all, um, I think I paid Right around seven dollars for all of those things and um pretty sure i'll make my money back pretty sure without a doubt i will make my money back all right went to another little place um on that on my video 
Uh, oh, we went to the Goodwill, didn't we? We went to Goodwill. Okay, so um, I got at Goodwill while we were shopping together. I picked up this box and um, it's new. First of all, that's what I liked about it. And I and I paid up a little bit for this. I paid $8.99, which I don't ever pay. I just, I really generally don't pay more than five, $5. It's kind of my cap. Like I don't pay more than $5 for anything um, because I want to make sure that I make money back on it. But for some reason I was drawn to this, maybe because it's new in the box, but I also, looked this up and it is a brand the brand of these is queens by churchill and it's it's a uh brand from great britain um so they're not easy easy to find apparently and on ebay i looked up the comps for them put in the care uh caravan trail and one of these teacups was selling, was listed for like $30. And honestly, at the store, that's all I needed to see <laughs> was that these were valuable. Um, there is not a set like this currently on eBay for sale. There's a set of a couple of the cups and there's a set for an individual teapot, but there's not a complete set listed on eBay. So I have a feeling um, that mine will do well and my... $8.99 investment will be worth it. So I'm gonna take the tape off and obviously try to get the sticker off. Ugh, these stickers. They're just a pain and they can really kind of destroy the item if you're not super careful. But I'm excited to see what this one will do. Yes, indeed. Okay, what else did I get at Goodwill when we were there? Oh, I found these little vases, Lennox. Uh, butterflies. They've got butterfly on one side, dragonfly on the other. There were three of them. This one has a butterfly and a little ladybug. Where's the third one? That one has a monarch, a ladybug, and a bumblebee. Hooray! Okay, so these are Linux Butterfly Meadow. Um, they still have the stickers on the bottom. So they're in very, very good shape. I double, triple, quadruple checked for chips. There are none. They did not have price tags on them. So the lady at the checkout only charged me, I think 89 cents a piece for these. So that's awesome. And there are some of these listed, not this exact set, but some of these are listed on eBay right now. So I'm gonna put mine in the mix and just see how they do. I think they're super cute. And if I had room in my house, I would keep them, but I unfortunately do not. I'm busting at the seams with stuff. I have to be very particular about what I choose to keep. In fact, I told my husband last night, now that I'm really focusing on listing things on eBay this summer, I'm like, hmm, that thing I've had for 10 years, I, I'm not super crazy about it anymore. Maybe I should sell that. So, all the stuff that you see in my house, it may end up online before it's all said and done because it's kind of fun to see that little red notification telling me I've sold some things. Okay, last thing I picked up at Goodwill um, was this cute little pottery dish um, sticker on the bottom. I paid $1.99, but I peeled the sticker back just enough to see that this was Marshall, Texas. So it's Marshall Pottery, which as you know, holds a near and dear place to my heart. Um, so I will either list this or gift it to my dear daughter um, because she's a, she's a former Marshallite as well. So um, she's kind of got a little collection of those pieces going. Okay, yesterday, I didn't film it because I wasn't really sure that I was going to do what I ended up doing, but I did go to a few thrift stores yesterday. I kind of had a little bit of a tingle for one store, and I walked in, and guess what I found? Hold on. Let me show you. Ray Dunn, love you mug. I paid $2 for it. And then... 
Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <gasps> First of all, I saw them and was like, I love those so much. And then I turned them over and discovered that they are Fitz and Floyd. The sticker's covering it, but I saw enough to see that it's Fitz and Floyd and all of their Christmas stuff was half off. So I paid $1.50 for the set of these cute little guys. I'm so tempted to keep them, but I won't. I won't. I'm not gonna keep them. I have too many Chris. I have too many mugs as it is. We've already had this conversation. Um, also, Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how long I have been looking for a bumblebee stuffed animal. A very, very long time. We play lots of games in my theater classes where we toss things. And I'm just like, you're going to get tossed, my dear. You're going to get tossed and played with and hugged and squeezed so much. I am so excited. I paid $2 for her. Worth it. Totally worth it. All right. Um, another thing I found that I'm taking kind of a risk on is this thing, which frankly, I find hideous. I'm not going to lie to you. This thing is so ugly. It, I'm not even really sure what it is. Is it a lion? Is it a sloth? Because see, it kind of has a little, a little sloth looking face. To, I don't know what it is. I've been watching some other YouTubers and they find these things called squishmallows. That's what he's called. I paid $1.50 for him. Squishmallows. And apparently they're all the rage. All the kids want them right now. So even if they're used, although this one is in excellent pristine, <laughs> pristine condition. Um, I think he's selling for between $15 and $20 right now. So I thought, well, he's not breakable. He'd be fairly easy to ship. And I'm sure he will make someone's heart very, very happy. You know, Esther probably would have loved this as a child. It's got all her favorite colors in it. So he's just got a crazy face. I'm just, he's like part pig, part lion, part sloth. I don't, I don't know. But you're going to go to a good home. All right. Um, I went to another thrift store and I found um, a pair of mammoth shoes. These are size 15. They're Merrell's, which I know for a fact is a great brand. They look barely used. And all the men's shoes were 50% off. So even though these were marked for $10, I got them for 5 So I think there is... Um, some money to be made on these guys. Uh, don't laugh at me. This is a fanny pack. Don't laugh at me. I've done my research. These are selling and I paid a dollar for it. Um, original Top Sports Mount Everest selling for about 15 to 18 dollars right now. So and this one is in great quality. I don't know that anybody who's actually used this. So, it's going on eBay. What else do I have? What else do I have? What else do I have? All right. I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Another cute little shirt. I paid a dollar for that. Um, this is Chico's Travel Bear. Um, I actually have a couple of these pieces myself and they're great for traveling because they don't get wrinkled. I paid a dollar. And then their Chico's t-shirt. I think I may have paid, I think I may have paid two dollars for that, but it still has the original tag on it. The original tag was for $35 for a t-shirt, ladies and gentlemen. I don't make the rules. Um, and I think this is a Michael Kors, Michael Kors shirt. I paid, and this is a sweater. I paid $2 for this. So I may not list this for a little while until the weather gets a little bit cooler, but I know Michael Kors 
supposedly a big deal. Um, okay. And then I think, I think that's it. Oh no, there's a whole other bag. <laughs> it's summertime. I've not been having fun. Um, oh, this is fun. Antique Archaeology. That's the American Pickers place. I've actually been there to the one in um, Iowa and I got this for a dollar. Figure I could probably sell that online pretty easy. Um, another pair of Eddie Bauer pants, shorts rather. A dollar. I know I'm paying up, not 45 cents this time. It's a dollar. So I've learned specific thrift stores have a dollar rack. Goodwill doesn't have that. So the mom and pops are the places I go to find the deals on clothes because they, I think they just get so many and they have to just kind of rotate them out. So I always go to that 99 cent rack or the 75% off of whatever's on the tag rack. I do. Levi's. You can't go wrong with Levi's. It's a pair of shorts. $2.00. Um, Eddie Bauer, like outdoorsy kind of swim shorts, $2. Um, Michael Kors, that's what I'm looking for. I had another Michael Kors. Um, these were so cute. Little pants, they little, little linen pants, Michael Kors. And then lastly, these are J. Crew. Again, I know that's a good brand. And these are some super cute little little flared linen linen pants. So all in all, I'm trying to think, I probably spent roughly around fifty dollars for all of this stuff. And I'm not gonna sit here and add up the potential profit, but I think you can kind of see that there's potential profit there. Um I have a lot of inventory at my house. And so I've kind of felt a little bit guilty going out and acquiring more stuff, but it's my summer and I have time to do it. And so as I was driving around yesterday, I kind of heard the little still small voice when I was like, I really shouldn't be getting all more, I need more stuff. And I got to find more storage for more stuff. I just heard a little small voice say, you're being an ant. Not a grasshopper. You know, the old um, Aesop's fable about the ant and the grasshopper. The ant harvests and collects when it's time and then, you know, sit back and relax. Um, during his summer break, he's busy so that when the winter comes, he's got a stockpile. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it now. I have the time now to go out and source and find the treasures and, um, so that's what I'm trying to do, but I'm also trying to be really diligent about listing things on eBay. Right now I have over 200 items on my eBay store. And yesterday I took five packages to the mail. Um, and then I have six packages to pack up to send today. So I, I'm getting kind of excited about, um, the business end <laughs> of, of this this little hobby that I have. Yes, it's super fun to go out and find the treasures, but it's also super fun to sell them and send them on their way and make a little extra money. So um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching my haul. And if you see anything that you want, that you like, um, go visit my eBay store and um, you may find it listed in a few days because I'm trying to get with the program. All right. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye.